Uh, and then the second verse is about, well, the second part of the verse is about my friend Tom and uh, newspapers and just bad news in general. And I suppose the last message at the end of it is that us as a group and me as a person uh, is that we need help. We need saving. Uh, that's the last line of that song. And that might not be like saving literally, but together um, we do need help and we will help each other. And it takes real bad things to happen for us to realise that. So I was in a band called Fourth Bass Beforehand and my bassist didn't want to play music anymore. So me and Ollie thought we'd form a two-piece, basically. About a year ago now, um, me and Jed started going busking quite a bit. And uh, in town, and we're earning a bit of dollar and we're having a bit more, a bit of fun doing it as well. I mean, we, we never really took it seriously. And um, yeah, and I don't, I don't want to don't say much about Max, but um, yeah, there was creative differences and whatnot. And um, yeah, towards the end of, yeah, I mean, towards the end of 2014, we left the band. Yeah, we, so we just started, we just stayed together, me and Jed, doing more acoustic-y stuff at first. And then we thought, oh yeah, we're going to be decent if we're like, we did electric stuff. And we thought, oh yeah, we both like pop punk. So we thought, oh yeah, okay, let's do some pop punk then. And then, well, I didn't really care really, I just wanted to play drums. And I don't mind pop punk. I like the one days and stuff. Me and Jed like similar bands, so I guess. But um, yeah, so that's from the beginning for me to now. So we got a band name from our names basically. I'm Jed, he's called Ollie, and together we, we made Jelly. We didn't use Jolly, because that had too much Ollie in it. The first song we made together was um, Gatorade Me Bitch. And uh, yeah, that was, that was made almost straight away after fourth base split up and after Max left, after Max left fourth base. But it's a song about how I might be sat in my room just listening to music or playing stupid games on my PlayStation. And I reference like the bands, like the Wonder Years and how it's all right because they're tired and they're kind of upset, but you know, he's still all right. It's got things about my friends as well, saying how our group is crumbling because we always have a go at each other, stuff like that. And I find it a lot easier to write my songs about my own life and a bit more literal rather than trying to be all ambiguous because I just wouldn't connect to stuff like that. And uh, we came up with this really short song. Um, it's pretty catchy to be fair. I think it's the most catchy song. It's one of my... I. I'd say it's pretty much my favourite song to play. So, first gig would have been, or different kinds of gigs. I suppose we played many a gigs before this, but when we decided that we wanted to be in a pop punk band and we wanted to play these kind of music, we decided to actually talk to promoters and stuff like that. Yeah, it was meant to be at the Cavern originally, uh, and then it got cancelled at the Cavern because I think a headliner pulled out, and then so they use a um, music room at the university to uh, set up this gig and um, it's pretty ghetto, not gonna lie. But um, yeah, pretty good. I mean, like, it was good atmosphere in there. I mean, quite a lot of people just crammed in a room. And you could probably fit about 30 people in this room. I think about five people showed up and the rest were just people from the other bands playing. It was sweaty, it was, smelly but it was quite fun and we got a few people going no one knew our songs obviously because no one cares but they were still moshing so 
we haven't always played the same music. Like I said earlier, we were in a band called Fourth Bass, and I suppose we didn't really have a genre back then. I know that when we was in that band, it was a three-piece, and our bassist did not like pop punk. He doesn't like it now, and he didn't like it back then. I've always been into pop punk. My the drummer Ollie is into all kinds of music, but he likes hitting drums and he likes fast-paced music. So, and then Jelly became like an acoustic thing. We were doing that just because we was busking a lot in town. And then I decided, like, I don't know why I'm listening to pop-punk music and liking and going to all these gigs and stuff like that and not playing this music myself. So it was at that point I thought, yeah, I want to be in a band where I can connect with other loser kids and maybe loser kids can connect with me. Nico McBrain from Iron Maiden, the drummer, the drummer from Iron Maiden, he was the person that inspired me to play the drums. It was a song... Um, Song called Run to the Hills. It wasn't actually him which created the drums to that song. It was a drum called Clive Burr. But um, it was Nico McBrain which inspired me to play the drums. I've got many influences. Uh, I suppose my absolute go-to band would be The Wonder Years. And about two hours before we filmed this, I've got my decent tattoo. Because I'm blank. Um, but influence, they influence me because they sing about just getting over stuff and their like trilogy of upsides and suburbia and Greatest Generation are just about battling through depression and growing up. You can just connect with that a bit more. I wouldn't be able to connect with someone saying he's in a clouded room of darkness, but the way that, I don't know, Supi will say that he'll, he doesn't fit in, fit in anywhere but with his best friends is just, makes more sense to me. Why would I talk about battling the darkened room of depression when I can just sit in a room with my best friends? That's what I write about, they influence me. Me and Ollie are planning to get in the studio very soon, record five songs. Gatorade me bitch, from this point forward, none of this, The Burrow, and um, the best in all of this, uh, those are the five songs, it's called cool Moving Forward, I came up with a name. It's about progression as a band, as two people, and as a, a friendship. <laughs> to be playing big festivals like Reading and stuff like that even if it's just on the introducing stage I mean I'd love that that's the dream we're gonna want to try and get outside of Torquay so we are playing gigs at the moment we've played in Exeter and Bridgewater um, I'll be moving to Bath Spa for university soon so I'm gonna try and get gigs up there in Bristol and places like that um, progression for the band I suppose what I just really want would be me to play in front of 20, 30 people and they just know the words to my songs. I think that would be the best thing, just having people screaming my songs back at me that suck, which I wrote in a bedroom about my life and people actually caring enough to learn the lyrics for them. So one of the best things I reckon when we played as Jelly would have been at the old Albert. That would have been more of a... Before we started going pop punk, we played a lot of acoustic stuff, and it's not like it wasn't like really it wasn't like really soft or anything, but it was upbeat and fast, and we did stuff like that. Uh, I think about ten, maybe of our friends came, and it was in a tiny little corner of this pub, and I don't think anyone else could hear anything because they were all stood in a row in front of us. Yeah, the old Albert gig as well, when um first gig when everyone was just singing and dancing, that was oh that was amazing. I think I think any gig, like with people dancing and having fun and singing, I think that's that's almost what I live for now as a musician. I've wrote a few deep emotional songs for 
friends as well and when those get sung back to me that's always feels good so i'd say that the best moment in the band is probably any time someone's singing a song back with me especially ones i've written <laughs> I can spend my time with a bunch of people who also feel like maybe that they're a bit hard done by because we're loser kids and we're just angsty teenagers but I get to spend my time with a bunch of other angsty teenagers and if I'm in a group of misfits then at that point those misfits won't feel so much like misfits for half an hour while we're on, we won't feel so strange. Just playing music in general, um, music that I like is probably the best thing about me. People right now just thinking of singing to you songs or covers or singing to you music. It makes your day as a musician and it sort of makes those more intimate, personal, low points, it sort of washes them away. I think without the ability to play music, play drums or express myself that way I think life would be very different so not only am I grateful for playing in the band with Jed especially Jed because we get on, we get on well but I'm just grateful for the ability to play music and the opportunity I've had to play music